Hey, what took so long? Oh, sorry for dropping by, silly. We thought it might be you, Mr. Grimwood. What a pleasant surprise to have you visit. Yes, well, I had some matters to discuss with Sergey. Since I was in the neighborhood, I took the opportunity to stop by. Matters to discuss? Yeah, I'll get to the chase. It's about Kia's identity. Oh, then did you... You guys figure anything out? Unfortunately, no. It seems her request was also submitted to the guild, but I, at Sergei's behest, explored another possibility. Unfortunately, it wasn't... No. Actually, I'm pleased to say the possibility I looked into was a bust. You're pleased to say the possibility you looked into was a bust, so you must have looked into something rather disturbing. You were happy it was a bust. Right, it was pertaining to a story several years back. There were multiple cases of child abductions, primarily focused in the Calvard Republic. Child abductions? It's horrible. I'll omit the more unnecessary details, but it was a pretty massive case. Because Calvard wasn't the only country targeted, an international investigation team was created to get to the bottom of things. You forgot this happened now? Oh, I guess this is important. Each country's army, police force, the Bracer Guild, you name it, everyone cooperated to put an end to that mess. It's crazy. It's the first I've heard of it. Same here. So it was kept under wraps. It must have been pretty dang serious. Yes, eventually the case was closed. In the end, it was decided that due to its nature, it was to be kept strictly confidential. The only reason I know about it is because I was involved serving as an advisor. Wait, hold on a second. You're saying there's a chance Kia could be one of the victims from this whole abduction incident? I thought the same thing, so I searched through the case records again, and to my relief, I wasn't able to find any children who matched Kia's description. For the record, nearly all the men responsible for those horrors were arrested and the remainder committed suicide. I simply came by today to inform Sergei of my findings. I see. I'm relieved that Kia wasn't a part of that, but the fact that it actually happened... I would have ended up telling you about all this eventually. Anyway, we're back to square one with Kia. Well, that's fine. We'll just keep doing what we're doing. We'll look after the little kiddo until we find one of her relatives. Right, I'd appreciate it if you kept sheltering the child here. But in case we can't end up finding a relative, we should consider entrusting her to a foster family. Or to a church orphanage. Well, but... Hey, if we can't adopt her, we're making Estelle adopt her. Estelle is down. And at least that way we can visit her whenever we want, instead of her getting going who knows where. Those are outcomes all of you need to start considering. Adapting a kid isn't like taking in some stray animal. She can't just keep living here forever. I disagree. No matter how cute she might be. I think she would also disagree. Estelle has to adopt her other wayward child first. Solution, Estelle can adopt Ren. And Joshua can adopt Kia. Or Michelle could adopt Kia. That's also a, a viable plan. I would accept that. Michelle would make an excellent parent. Never a dull moment. Yeah, you're right. She'll need a good bit more care than some kitten. That's for sure. And then if Michelle adopted her, she could spend infinite time with Shizuku. I've plotted this child's life out for her. 
I'm sorry, everyone. It seems I brought down the mood a bit. You all just returned from a long day of work, didn't you? I imagine you have a report to deliver, so I think I should excuse myself now. No, please wait. The truth is, there's something we were planning on consulting you about. Was there? What's that? You see... Lloyd explained the situation with the missing minor to Sergei and Mr. Grimwood. So you were working on a missing person case. <laughs> Sounds like a job for the SSS, all right. It didn't seem like anything illegal was going on, so we just let him be. I wonder if we should have tried a little harder to get him to go home, though. Well, that's a complicated question. If you were bracers, there would be a little more wiggle room to negotiate comes with the job. If a police officer tried to pull that move, however, odds are the whole situation would turn into a civil dispute. It's an exceedingly fine line. I was afraid you'd say that. The guy's old enough to make his own decisions, so in the end, I guess it's none of our business. If he were just some brat, we could have just given him a little kick in the rear and sent him home. <laughs> That's true. However, you mentioned his skills and luck with gambling completely changed. Almost like he was a different person. Ian? Something about this rub you the wrong way? Well, it might be just a coincidence, but lately, two similar stories have come to my attention. Oh? Really? You telling me there's not one, but three lucky jerks who hit the jackpot? No, no, it's a bit different. The stories I heard involve a stockbroker who works for a securities firm and the manager of a trading company. Those are two significantly more important positions than the miner from mines. Recently, both companies sustained heavy losses and were almost in the red, but in the last few days, they seem to have experienced an incredible rebound. I could hardly believe it until I saw the numbers. Especially the stockbroker. It said he bought and sold stocks with unprecedented luck and intuition, as if he could see the future. That sounds pretty familiar. Don't worry, I'm sure it's only a coincidence. However, from what I've heard, these two have also become extremely arrogant just as their fortunes reversed. That tidbit piqued my interest. That's definitely strange. Hey, Ian. Any chance you know the backgrounds of those two? Not yet, but if you're interested, I can start looking into them right away. You want to check possible ties, I assume? Yes, if possible. Did something catch your attention, Chief? When you're in this business, Lloyd, it never hurts to have all the info you can. It's as simple as that. And there are way, way, way too many similarities between our minor and those people for it to just be a coincidence. I understand. Guy told me something like that, too. That the decisive factors in an investigation are intuition and the information you uncover. Well then, I'll get out of your way now. If there's ever anything bothering you, don't hesitate to stop by my office. I'll do everything in my power to help out. Thank you very much, Mr. Grimwood. It's interesting that in the Japanese... Lloyd called him Ian Sensei, so by his first name, but like a formal thing. I don't know why we couldn't just call him Mr. Ian instead of turning it to Mr. Grimwood in English. It's weird. We'll definitely take you up on that offer when the time comes. The difference in formalities is so odd to translate, I assume. Hey you, what's hey you doing? Rivache managed to uncover their smuggling routes. Hi. 
Yes, Two of the routes we decimated over the last week have already been reorganized. Yeah, there really isn't an equivalent in English. That's why I like when um games like Persona just leave the honorifics there. <laughs> because it just really doesn't translate. But it's a good way to see how the characters feel about one another. We've been trying to impede them, but their resilience was almost unexpected. How curious. I forgot how pink your hair is. I was led to believe that they didn't have the manpower to accomplish such a thing. Did their boss finally involve himself in their restoration efforts? That's the strangest part. The killing bear was nowhere to be found. This appeared to solely be the work of subordinates. The reports state that they only brought enough for a small squad. Not only that, but there were no warhounds present either. How interesting. No, I'm even more curious. Had this been a battle of even numbers, hey, you should have come out victorious. Do they employ those Reinford heavy machine guns, perhaps? Yes, actually. Their main forces appear to have been armed with them. However, the report also mentions that their battle prowess has skyrocketed. Interesting. I get the impression Don Marconi is trying his utmost to appease the speaker and quell his rage. I don't recall any new reports of Jaegers being employed or any training exercises being held either. Very peculiar indeed. Are you implying that they've acquired a trump card right under our noses? Precisely. As far as I'm able to tell, this trump card of theirs is something truly extraordinary indeed. Perhaps even more so than our own. Like Yin, however, this new measure of theirs is something that can turn the tide of battle at a moment's notice. How the heck did they... I'm going to assume they got their hands on an artifact. Otherwise, why learn about artifacts? What was that? Sounds like a machine gun. Ah, yes. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. <laughs> We've got a big problem on our hands. A group of men draped in black are unloading rounds into the building. Ravache, I think. There's about ten of them, and the killing bear isn't one of them. There are only ten measly grunts. Hurry up and finish them off, then. And don't worry about the police. This is self-defense, so anything goes. Well, the thing is, those guys aren't human, I'm telling you. They're holding massive machine guns with just one hand. The first floor has been breached. It's only a matter of time before they reach us, sir. Dang it, if only Master Yin was here. Oh, dear. I doubt even I could outwit our foes in such a barbaric situation as this. Master Cow, you don't mean... Let's go, Lao. Relying on Yin for a petty squabble like this would be a strain on Heiyu's name. Come, let us demonstrate our might as the conquerors of the Eastern Quarter. And then they all died because Cal looks like a psychopath who doesn't care who he kills. That wasn't the face and posture of a scared man. I don't think Cal is capable of fear. But we went to speak to him for the first time, and I think the only time we've spoken to him thus far. He just blatantly told us what Heyu was doing because he knew there was nothing we could do to him. He doesn't care. This girl is full of surprises. You're telling me that Kia cooked all of these sunny side up eggs for us? So, <laughs> yeah. She sure did. Her technique was so good, I ended up picking up a few tricks from her. Fried eggs with a bit of runny yolk. 
Ice. Kettle Lotus is bacon too. It's fried to perfection. Just the right amount of crispiness. She displayed just as much skill helping me with yesterday's cream stew. Are you sure you don't have any training in the culinary arts, Kia? I don't know. Maybe? Whenever I cook, it's like my hands are moving on their own. Well, I guess it's possible to retain skills like that through muscle memory. But the fact that she's this talented at her age is pretty amazing. Hey, Tio. I was wondering. Do you feel okay today? Oh. You look fine, as far as I can tell. But if you're not feeling 100%, maybe you should take the day off and rest? No, I need Tio. Do not tell her to stay here and rest. No, I'm fine. After all, I went to bed quite a bit earlier than usual yesterday. I don't think we have any urgent requests to take care of, so we can always wait and see how you're feeling. A call? Thanks, Lloyd. You spoke it into existence. It's pretty early for that, ain't it? Is it Fran? I'll check. Hello, this is Lloyd Bannings of the Special Support. Yeah, yeah. I know already. Jonah. Now, where the heck are you? What are you doing right now? Wow. I wasn't expecting a night owl like yourself to be awake this early in the morning. Bold of you to assume he slept yet. <laughs> Implying I didn't pull an all-nighter. <laughs> there you go. But enough about that. It doesn't matter. From how carefree you sound, I bet you don't know anything at all, right? Don't know anything... about what? So you don't know. Well then, I, the great and brilliant Jonah, will do you a favor. In the dead of night yesterday, well, technically today, I guess, but that's besides the point. You can definitely tell that this child has not slept. Either way, someone raided Heyu's office. What? They were caught completely off guard, too. No offense, all defense, you know? Apparently they took some serious damage. If you ask me, it had to have been done by those Robache guys. It's not outside the realm of possibility. Thanks for the heads up. A bit odd that right after getting into all that trouble with the auction, they would turn around and uh, gun down their rival gang. Not necessarily the choice I would make, but sure, I guess. You owe me one now, Lloyd. Although maybe it's not even Rache because they said um, Garcia wasn't there. That was Jonah? Yeah, something crazy has popped up. Lloyd relayed the information he heard from Jonah to the rest of the special support section. Is that really true, Lloyd? It's freaking insane. It's bold of them to pull such a stunt in the city, even if it was in the middle of the night. If all this is true, I bet anything the First Division's already jumped on the case. If it bothers you that much, though, then go ahead and check it out. But only after you finish eating. Will do, sir. All right. Will you be good to go to you? Yes, of course. We can walk over to the Harbor District after we finish our breakfast. Can I look at this now? Yes. Oh, there are literally... None. Is there anything I still need to report? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Dog. Proud as always, but there's no doubt that he's one of us, a vigilant protector of the special support section. Agreed, I imagine he will eviscerate any suspicious characters that dare enter. Dog. 
Where did Kia go? Is she in here? No. You're in the kitchen. Sir, so cleaning up the kitchen after breakfast. If the Mafia is involved, I expect the First Division is already on the move, but that doesn't mean this is a case we can ignore. I'm planning on heading over to HQ later to see what I can find out myself. That's all I got. Dismissed. Kia is in the kitchen cleaning up after breakfast. If you figure something out, you better tell me, okay? Will do, Kia. Clean up, clean up, scrub the plates down here and there. If you figure out something, you better let help me. Okay. She is so precious. I want to go in here. Let's... I want to make a quartz, I think. Potentially. Who is using my EP2 right now? Probably Ellie. Yeah. Okay, so I do need to buy another one of those. That's fine. No. Give me one of this. Yeah, I have plenty of court, uh, sepith right now. Um, I think I want to honestly upgrade everything for her. Maybe not, actually, this is very expensive. Let's do one more. Okay. This I am switching to action three. We are keeping cast, and then we are changing evade to, to EP2. Did that. No, you still have holy breath, which is honestly what I care about. And you kept Ariel, which is nice. You can press a square on the orbment screen to see the arts and the arts that will change if you're changing the quartz out. Nifty. Huh. Fascinating. Wait, I didn't. Okay. You have Dark Matter and you have these now. Got Chaos Brand back. Shadow Blade. Sounds like a fun time. Okay, is there anything else that I wanted to switch out? Yes, we have more EP now, which is very nice. Did I get an attack three? I did get an attack three. We might as well.
might as well. Okay, movements. I don't think I have extra movement threes. I don't have a movement three. Never mind. Um, hit three is fine. I need that. This is fine. I need that. Impede two. Do I have impede three? I do not. Okay. You have burn, which is what's letting you use fire. Action two, you can keep. This one I think I took just because it gives you more fire. That's fine. That's fine. Interesting. And then you have the Sagittarius gem. Okay, Petrify, we need to keep. Intimidation. You don't necessarily need intimidation because someone else has intimidation. Septium vein. You also don't really need effort. I think I just gave you that so that you could heal. So that I could waste your EP outside of battle to heal people. Who would I even change this to? I could give you evade three. We have that. You would definitely put an attack one on it. Yeah. I think I will switch intimidation for attack two. Actually, I might be able to exchange my attack twos that I have so many of for an attack three at the exchange shop. I don't know how many it takes. But I also want an evade three. Okay, so I want to upgrade this specific slot. Wait, this one's already upgraded. I didn't have to upgrade anything. Okay, I'm gonna go see if I can just exchange first. 